Okay, so today here I'm just waiting on a customer to come. He's coming down to see me um, from uh, other side of London somewhere, and he's bringing a Jaguar uh, that he's had some problems with. He's had it at four different garages. Um, they keep doing four three generations, but his engine light comes back on within a couple of days, and he's just not getting anywhere. Um, I've asked him if there's any other issues with the car. He said he, they haven't told him anything, um, but we're gonna have a look at it when we get here. There's obviously something causing the issue um, for it to keep returning like that, so we're gonna have a look at what sort of problems he's got and do a DPF clean if it need be and advise him on what needs to be rectified to stop it happening again. As Jimmy at O'Reilly today, we've got this Jaguar. Set. 3.0 diesel. Okay, so he's got the engine light on there, and he said he's intermittently getting uh, amber and red DPF lights. Uh, he's had a consistent problem for the past uh, few months, and he's brought it to f uh, multiple different garages he take who can't uh, seem to sort out the problem. So I'm just getting a diagnostic ready here, it's a F-Pace and it's a 3.0 TD V6. Okay, so we have three faults there in the engine, let's go and have a look and see what's in there. So we have NOx exceedance intermittent, turbo overboost and the vehicle conditions incorrect for regeneration. So of course, um, I've just uh, had a chat with him before this, before I've started looking at this, so obviously this is going to give me a good idea there. Um, he has had the DPF cleaned uh, three or four times, and within a couple of days, uh, the light's coming back on again. So, okay, I'm going to just have another chat with him, and I'll get back. Okay, so he said that he's, all, he's had this um, turbo overboost problem all of the time. And nobody's ever mentioned that it could be any way related to the DPF. So, of course, uh, me just cleaning in his DPF today is going to be a waste of time until you can get this problem here sorted. Turbo overboost. What That is why you've got the in incorrect conditions there for the uh, particle filter regeneration. So your, your particle filter won't regenerate if you've got a, a fault that's logged anything with the engine, so the turbo here. Um, the Nox one, we'll have a look at that separately afterwards, but we're gonna, I'm going to be more, more interested in looking at this one for now. Just disconnected the inlet flap here to the intake manifold. And it's got all this sort of green slime in there. Not really sure to, too sure what that is, to be honest. Why it's that colour. Okay, and I can see the problem immediately here, why he's getting an overboost problem. This flap, stuck. There you go, so you put it down, it's stuck, so that shouldn't be sticking. So I'm just going to clean out all of this oil substance, just get it all cleaned up. So this little bit of the lip here is swollen up. We're just going to try and rub it down a little bit. Okay, now that Okay, so we've uh, got that flap moving freely, so now we're just going to clear these codes. So now we're just having a look at the live data. Just going through everything to make sure everything looks okay. Okay, so we're looking at the measured soot mass there, and that's at 21 grams, so that's way too high. The differential pressure there is on 12 kPa. 
just having a look on here and the so 10 kPa is 100 millibars which is way too high okay so I'm going to use a couple of litres of this winds DPF fluid put it in my dispenser here and we're going to get it pumped into the DPF filter to flush it out okay so we're just under the car here and just up here we have the DPF pressure sensor and we're going to be looking at this pipe right here with the yellow tab on it I'm going to open that off this is the one before the DPF and this one is after so I'm just going to connect up my holes here just shove that over there I'm just going to pump all of this fluid in there. Okay, so that's all finished. I can pull it off. It's just like a foam that comes out like that. Now we can just connect back up the uh, DPF pipe here. Just going to use one of these to wipe up my hands before we get back inside. Clean up some of this oil. That's a little bit better. Okay, we're back inside. We're going to start it up. We'll get it back down off the ramps. Now we're going to hold it at about 3000 RPM. If we can get it just about there, that's close enough. And we should sort of see this dropping now. So it's going to rise up slowly first because obviously we're raising the, the uh, RPMs of the engine. It's going to give a higher reading. But once the engine gets hot, it'll gradually start to come down. Just get a lot of smoke out the back. See that pressure there, differential pressure. That's dropped from around 12 to 15. Sorry, it's a focus. And you can see that's dropping there. We're down to 3 kPa now. And we're just still holding the revs there. And now we can see the soot mass grams are lowering. I'm just going to use my laser pedal depressor here just to um, hold the revs for me. Now we can just watch the uh, grams coming down. Okay, we're taking on like a 10 mile test drive and we have the mass down to zero grams. Gone into the engine control module and there's no no further trouble calls there. That's it, we're all done on that one. One happy customer there. He's on his way home. Back to uh, Croydon. He's just driving, driv, um, I'm not too sure exactly, but it's maybe 80 miles or 100 miles to come see me.